Hey guys, how are we doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Binance Challenge update. So yeah, over over to those charts. Here is a coin that I was I was trying to buy in on the account, but I didn't really get a good entry. I did um I did FOMO in this uh, myself um on um on my main account, and so I I do have um quite a bit of this coin. But yeah, I couldn't really get an appropriate entry um for some some more res more respectable trading on on the Binance. Um so um as you can see, we are made a little bit of progress in btc nothing major still we're still trying to fill these bags we're still um we're still only really sat at um yeah 42 percent invested still got 58 percent of our btc left um no actually if we look at my orders um we've not actually had any fills um since yesterday um since the ones we looked at yesterday uh if this loads up quick i'll just show you my trade history um we have got <laughs> here we go yeah we just got our um our um <laughs> elrond and now cosmos and um, those are the fills that we had before um so yeah still just um either way for some more fills i was thinking about fomoing and a bit on this on on the pullback um and especially when i saw us pump back up but subsequently we've come back down so uh, maybe that is going to form a bit of a doji dildo um, on <laughs> doji um, doji candle on the um, time frame on this daily time frame. So um, yeah, maybe we are going to um, have to um, wait for some lower prices. Basically, if we break below this level, below this low of this candle, um, yeah, potentially a bit lower. But this is the main coin I exec I exec that I want to get into. Um, so if we do have a look at it over on here, um, let's find it. Here we go. Right, here we go. Um, you can see the daily, um, the daily to uh, 21 is quite far away. So that's partly why I'm just thinking, um, just going to wait a little bit. <sighs> I mean, I'm just hoping we don't end up with one of those typical sort of hyperwave patterns where you get, um, there's our first angle of ascent. Um, here is our second angle of ascent and then we end up with like basically a, a parabolic not that you might not call this parabolic but like a basically a a third angle of ascent in which case I will struggle to get obviously down to here prices down here but that may not happen that may not happen it's gone relatively parabolic um, I mean if I go like this look it's gone extremely parabolic <laughs> um, but yeah but um, like I said we could still get an acceleration in this trend so um, I was looking at um, FOMOing in around this level. It did go into a nice profit, and I, and I regretted it. I thought, is that it? We're going to blast through this nine. But the nine is still holding in there, and we've got a doji candle here on the daily. At present, obviously, we're only halfway through this daily. Um, so, obviously, you know what can happen. We can still end up with some more um, some more selling later. Um, nice four-hour nine got you out if, um, if the daily didn't get you out. Um, so, yeah. So, other than that, guys... Um, it's creeping up it's creeping up at the moment but we're still trying to fill our bags we haven't really set any bots to sort of scalp scalp any trades because we haven't really got any any full bags yet that we are looking for to then just to to trade around so yeah it's a case of a case of building up building up those positions um this is our this was our total our total list of um of coins Let's zoom this in a bit let's just zoom this out a bit um done the video on this this morning this is doing really well and um, this is up um 44 basically roughly 44 percent in btc and usd because btc is not going anywhere and the usd value has just gone up so um that's doing pretty well and here is our current uh, our current coins that we have nothing really to add we're only looking for carver carver's been running away with us i exec enigma qlc and Algorand, they are the ones that we are still looking to accumulate. But Carve has been really strong. Um, geez, geez, look at this. Geez, Louise, blasted for. This was the same with ILC. You've got the daily. Uh, sorry, that's a four hour. I actually, ignore that. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, this was before. I did buy before this anyway. Um, but yeah, so really, realistically, um, there's the daily 200. Sorry, daily, not even the daily 200, the daily 21. Looking to try and get some buys around here. But this is run, Carver is running away with the market. Look, you can see. Um, even again today, big up day. ENG up quite a bit. LTO up quite a bit. MCO not so much. QLC. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, that was a wow! Just this is so obvious, obvious a pattern as well. Did I did I not get this? 
I must have had all, all orders near the market on this. Where are my orders? <laughs> I couldn't have not got filled. Where's my... Oh, <laughs> I do have this on my other account. Do I not have any QLC orders? Do I not have any QLC orders? I could... Um, let's have a look at these open orders. No. I didn't put the orders in. Oh, well, guys, there you go. That's what happened. So we would have been up quite a bit more. <laughs> Oh, what have I done? What a 45% move. Um, and it was on my hit list. It was on my list. You can see it. We haven't got many coins here, but QLC is one of them. Oh, QLC is one of them. And um, <laughs> can you can you tell the annoyance is palpable? Um, I mean, a 40% 40, 40 move. I mean, that's a pop. That is that's a pop, pop, pop. That is a, that's a Tesla style pop. This is a Tesla style formation at the high as well. Oh, what was I doing? Daily 21 as well. Easily guiding the price up. Oh, geez. It doesn't matter. The rest of the coins are going to do it. We're all going to do it. Algo. Um, Algo um, looking okay as well. Algorand. Um, we obviously need to try and pick up some of this too. Um, and then what else have we got going on? Yeah, we got some SPX, but not on this account. Um, and then Waves also. Um, Waves was another one. Um, is making a nice move. So these altcoins are popping, guys. There's a lot of opportunity in this market at the moment. And, um, oh, QLC. Anyway, so right, that's it, guys. So thanks for listening. This is our daily update. So, yeah, we're creeping up. We would have been creeping up a bit more if we um, had our full bags and the right coins. And if we'd started earlier, a week or so earlier, two weeks earlier, three weeks earlier, we would have been up more than, well, about 50%, I would have thought, three weeks earlier. Because that was an average. Our 44% is an average of all these coins. But there's some coins I prefer at the top half, where you can see the biggest gains are, that we would have been piled in heavily into. So, yeah, we would have been well over 50% up if we started three weeks ago. But, hey, this is this is now. We've got to think about the present. We've still got, we've got plenty of time. We're on this bull run. This isn't the end of the bull run. Just look at Ethereum back in 2017. Do you know I mean this isn't the end? We're gonna we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna keep on pumping these coins, pumping our bags, pumping our Bitcoin, and then Bitcoin's gonna go up as well. And then we're just gonna be all buying Lambos and going racing racing Lambos together. <laughs> anyway, so thanks for listening, guys. Remember, this is definitely not a financial advice, and I'm definitely not a financial advisor. I won't be able to wear a vest to work if I was. Put it that way. Um, but yeah, and I'll speak to you um, guys um, later on today.